back in Providence, um, currently in the dorm I'll be staying in over the summer. Um, as I previously mentioned, I'll be working as a resident assistant for the pre-college programs. Um, yeah, so I just got here this morning, finally got to this room around like 10.30 I'd say. Um, I basically did not sleep the whole night. Honestly, it feels really weird to be on campus right now, like there are people but there's like very few people and it feels super empty and quiet and like especially in this residence hall since it will be filled with high schoolers later and i'm the only person here it just feels too empty not sure if i'm liking it um but at the same time i do feel kind of peaceful being back on campus i feel more motivated to do things and i just wish like there was a way for me to be at home and be with my family but still be able to do things, um, some sort of like happy medium. But yeah, um, I actually scheduled for my things to be delivered here at noon. I'm a bit worried because I know there's a lot of stuff and this is a smaller room. Um, so yeah, once that comes, I will do some more preliminary, like arranging the room, make it feel a little bit more like home. It's already looking a lot better, um, just unpacking my suitcase. And then I'm going to make a trip to Whole Foods to buy some products um, and hopefully shower and then go to the first RA training. I don't know if I just forgot to choose my seats for the flights, but I got the worst seats on both the planes I took. Um, I was in the middle seat for my first flight to Newark and the guy next to me was this like elderly white male and he kept like leaning all the way over on my side and like I would feel uncomfortable if his arm like was touching my arm, but he didn't really seem to care at all. Um, so it was quite uncomfortable. I didn't get to sleep at all. And then the second flight, I was near the very back and I actually like knocked out. Like that was the one hour I slept going from Newark to Providence. Also the Newark airport in New Jersey is just like extremely like bougie and modern like all the all the tables there was like little tablets and like everything like even the cafe was like self-pay so you would like order or you would like grab things from the snack stand um and then you would just like pay 
it by yourself at this like automated machine. The funny thing was like there was like people standing next to the machine to help you to use the machine. So I would kind of thought it was like redundant, I guess. Like you might as well have those people be the cashier. Yeah. Holy shit, okay, I just moved all of these boxes up the stairs. <laughs> it was so oh my god, too much. So now I am headed to Whole Foods. Honestly, I'm feeling kind of like my limbs are all shaking from transporting all that shit. So I just came back from Whole Foods and lighting this room is just not ideal. There's only one tiny window and it just isn't enough surface area for like the entire room versus my old room had two of these windows and it was much better. Um, but yeah, my room is looking really messy right now. I'm just gonna clean and then shower before the first training. I'm just really nervous. I just feel, I don't know, I'm not particularly in the socializing mood today, but hopefully it goes well. And I really want to eat like a nice dinner later, so wish me luck. It is Tuesday, um, June 25th. Just finished uploading a new video, really happy. Uh, today I'm going shadowing for the second time. I'm shadowing at an eating disorders clinic um, at a nearby hospital. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, it's been a little bit of a struggle getting up the last couple days. I've just been having rampant anxiety, but actually this week I finally um, scheduled a counseling and psychological services appointment. I don't know why it was so difficult to do so. I like go frequently during the year, but I sometimes that like little voice in my head still speaks up and says like, oh, you're not like, you don't have any problems. Like you don't have anything to talk about. You don't need to go, but really glad I scheduled it. That's tomorrow. And then yeah, I just scheduled a couple other health appointments that I might touch on in a future video. So I'm proud of myself for making the effort to take care of myself. And yeah, today I'm also holding a yoga workshop for my residents. Really excited about that. And so I'm just gonna clean my room a bit, go have lunch, and head off to the clinic. Hello, I really need to go to lunch so I can make it to clinic and I just wanted to share my I literally, um, so when I start, was gonna start shadowing, they were like, don't wear denim, please look semi-professional. And I 
Guys, I went to Catholic school in high school. Like, I own so much denim at this point. Since I graduated, I just like went all out. I'm really proud of this outfit actually. Um, so, wearing these pants, and they are from Francesca's, and I got them on clearance for like $15. And then these earrings, um, I bought them from Madewell, also on clearance. And I just feel so like professional and like boss babe in this outfit. I'm like, ago I was telling my friends like oh yeah I'm gonna make writing my plan A but I realized from going to clinic that like this sort of like human interaction problem solving talking thinking team working really fulfills something in me um, that doesn't replace writing or literature but it just plays a different role um, in yeah what what yeah how it satisfies me so yeah, it's so interesting also to go and be in the seat of the provider um, in an eating disorder clinic because I have been obviously a patient um, and to see what's going on in all these different people's lives. And so yeah, I just grabbed myself a latte, planning on having dinner with some friends in a bit. So I was gonna practice clarinet, but Honestly, I'm so exhausted, I might bet it. Um, also, next week I'm going to New York with my friend Catherine, which I'm so excited about. Um, and Catherine, like, was amazing. She made, like, a huge list plan thing. Um, and we were just buying Broadway tickets today, so yeah, I'm so excited. 